Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is Finish It Friday and we're going to be finishing the uh, page in the Witch's Cottage, the two page spread in the Witch's Cottage uh, by Hannah Carlson. We have done all of the picture itself with the ink tents. I've put the, um, I'm going to zoom you out a little bit here so you can actually see what, what is going on. The um, background is done with the Neo Color 2s, and we are going to be adding some glitter gel pen. I have the Arteza glitter gel pens and some stickles, uh, as well as a liquid pearl that we will be using on the, the stars and bright things. Also going to be using a white gel pen. Uh, for different areas as well. So first of all, we're going to do uh, the little embellishments on her outfit. And we are going to use this purple and this purple. I think this purple. Let's see. Yeah, I think. So there's the Arteza as well as the Jelly Roll. Um, and I know I have a light purple in the Jelly Roll. Somewhere, maybe. They're not very. Yeah, I don't think I do. I think it's gray, uh, green. Let's see this one. Nope, that's blue. All right, so we'll use this this purple here, and then we'll use a, a darker red purple for around her skirt. I'm going to switch it over to the close-up camera here so you can see a little bit better. Now these are the sp Super Sparkles from Arteza or Arteza, however you want to say it. Arteza. <laughs> One. And that's this is a bit of a blue purple, so we'll work with it. Too late to change now. It's drying very blue, so that's fine too. Sorry if I go quiet. <laughs> That's the thing with gel pens. You have to sort of stick your tongue out the right way and try to stay in the lines. There we go. Now we're going to do the same thing down here on her skirt as well. Now when this dries, it should be a nice, bright, sparkly. Coloration. I was going to use the Spectrum Noir glitter brushes, but the color on those does bleed through the paper, and I really didn't want to bleed through the paper. Because if I can save the picture on the other side of the one with the cat, I will try to, because it's a cute picture. I like potion bottle pictures, they're pretty. However, with wetting the page, I may not be able to save it, but we will try. <laughs> I'm just going to get the, <coughs> excuse me, just try to swallow properly.
Oops, sorry about that. Hopefully I don't sneeze again. Usually comes in threes. And then I end up sniffly again. <laughs> I'm feeling much better. I don't have the sinus pressure that I was having, so I think it's just because I swallowed the wrong way. All right, now on her boots, we're going to use this purple. Actually, let's use a black. I think this is a black. Yeah. This is a black gray. We'll just do her laces. Like so. because she should have sparkly laces. And that is a jelly roll. All right, now for her little things up in her hat, I'm going to take the orange glitter and do this part here. So, and then we're going to take this one and do the stars. I'm getting all the gel pen out of the way because it dries faster than the Um, stickles and the other things. So I think that's it for the gel pen. Other than the white gel pen. and well, I'll do that later. So for the stems of the stars there, I'm going to use the let's get it going here. to drag it down. Do the other side. This is where we get really really quiet because we're trying not to completely make a mess. And it didn't turn out exactly as I'd want it to, but that's okay. So we're going to start doing the stars. So all the stars that are this format, we're going to do with this bright yellow liquid pearl. And I'm just going to use the silicone tool just to drag it around and smooth it out. So we have another one over here. have this one up here. I 
and we have one at the bottom as well, but I'm not going to do that one until after all of the stuff at the top is done. Icky. I'm like, I had an icky. <laughs> Let's not throw that around. Sometimes with the liquid pearls, you gotta get past the dry bits in the top. I didn't bring my needle over, so I think I have a pin here somewhere. Maybe. I may have put it away too. I cleaned off my desk yesterday. So you know what happens when you clean off your desk, right? Everything that you put away that you cleaned off your desk, um, you then need. <laughs> You know, all those things that you, you normally keep in reach. Maybe think, oh, I haven't used that in a long time. I'm just going to put that away. Um, yeah, you need it. <laughs> there we go. Clear that. I'll go through with a needle later and clear that out because that's not uh, not very nice. Not very nice to work with. Then we're going to go through with these stars. and add the yellow stickles to them. And the stickles, unlike the liquid pearls, are just little sparkles in glue. Some have color and some the color is in the sparkles. This one, the color is in the sparkles. It has a light, light yellow color to it, but most of the color is in the sparkles. So just moving that around into the corners of each of the stars. a little bit too much there, but that's okay. It'll be fine. This one I'm going to use a big old dollop because I want to move it all over. Right through here. Try to make sure that I stay in the in the star. Just moving it around. And this is where because I'm using a big old dollop of it, it's going to pick up some of that color from the watercolor that I used on it previously. I'm just going to put a little bit more so that we can pull it up here. Now 
Now I'm going to turn on this light, which is probably going to blind you. There we go. Just so I can see what I'm doing. Otherwise, I'm going to end up missing areas or putting not enough in an area. Sorry if that's blinding you, but... It'll be worth it in the end, I promise. Just going to put a little bit on my tool. Just so I can get into the tighter areas a little bit better. all the way down to the end. This is where it takes a little bit more patience. But again, the payout is you know, one of those things that will make a difference. Looks like it's slipping and sliding a little bit. I know it's not, but it just looks like it. Okay, I think that's this one here I didn't get very much on it at all. doing all that great with uh, putting them where they need to be in the dark. <laughs> with the light on I can see areas that I've missed. So I'm just moving it around so that I cover all the areas. Alright, now we're going to do these ones down here. Let's start up here and then work our way down. And I will be doing this to the other side as well. But don't know if we'll film it today depends upon how long it takes. Because this is tedious and probably boring the heck out of you. <laughs> got this star here. And then we've got these stars here. So we're going to do this one first. Put a nice old big old glob in there. Just 
just dragging it down through the edges, making sure that there's enough sparkle for everywhere. Because, you know, sparkle makes everything better. Well, maybe not everything, but most things. evening out the gel there and then we're going to do the same thing for this one here nice big old dollop and I'm going to drag it down and up Now, of course, you can do this with just glitter glue. You don't have to have stickles. You can make some glitter glue with a white uh, glue, either Mod Podge or um, Elmer's or whatever. And just put some really fine glitter in it. And then you can just paint it on. I just have the stickles available, so I did not want to mess with making any glitter glue right now. But you can definitely make glitter glue if you need to. You're not required to have the expensive stickles. To do this. You can even do this with gel pen. I just like the way stickles look. When they dry they stand out a little bit, which I like. Alright, now we're going to do this one and this one. And then we'll do the fluorescent one there, the bright yellow. Like so. I'm going to put this one aside for a moment. And we'll take this one and we'll do this bright yellow one here. Put a little doll up in the center. Wipe off my tool. Mr. Choo Choo is going to be coming by. So if he gets loud, I apologize. He's actually quite quiet. I'm surprised. He usually blows his horn. Alright. Wipe my tool off, and then we're going to take the clear one. And we're going to do the spots. I probably should have started up at the top. All right, now we're just going to take our tool move it around just a little bit to fill in each of the little 
spots there. Over this way. Move one here. Like so. All right, I'm going to turn the book a little bit so I can get to the ones on the top. And then we'll move to the other side because we've got we've got plenty of time. Lots of time. Oh, I should have. I'll do it later. I should have done the edge, the edging in the gold that I was going to do it in before I went through and put the stickles on. But I will do that later. Right, I think that's all of them on that side. So now we're going to go to the other side and do the stickle work on the other side. All right, so first of all is the bright yellow ones. Again, we're going to Put in some stickles there, and we'll move it around a little bit. Try to stay in the lines. I just like to stay in the lines. You don't have to, but I like to. So. And then we're not going to do this one down here at the bottom until after we've done all the other ones. So now we're going to go in with our yellow stickles. There's not as many on this side as there is on the other side. So. start with this one. I'm just going to move it up. Moving that glitter all the way around. A little bit more over on this one. And I'm just using a little uh, Bravati rubber tool. The silicone type spatula 
pinpoint kind of pin liner, fine liner type tool. You can do this with a toothpick if you want to. Again, making sure I get all the way out to the edge of this star. If you find that you don't have enough, and you need to add more, just add more. I know stickles are not inexpensive, but they do go a long way. So a little tiny bottle is going to cover a lot of different stickle projects. So even using it very liberally like I am. I've had my stickles now for almost two years and I've barely put dents in the bottle, so. It looks like a lot more than it is. to the edge here. Just basically pushing all of that glue and glitter down into the edges of this star. And we're going to do this one. Doing the same thing, just pushing the glitter down to the edges of the stars. This one up here. Doesn't look too bad. Don't like the way this one's not spreading. Let's move this one around a little bit more. Do this one. Sometimes you just gotta play with it a little bit to get it the way you want it to look. I want the sparkles to go to the very tips of each of the stars, so. It's taking a little tiny bit more, and I touched my pen onto there somewhere. 
at some point, but that's okay. I'm gonna have some sparkle on the moon. Alright, and we're just gonna take this right up. And then right down. Again, just filling in all of the spaces. Getting as many pretty, pretty, pretty sparkles as you can onto a tiny space. Without, you know, making it look like just a blob of sparkles in the middle. <laughs> Which, you know, wouldn't be bad either, but not the look I'm going for. It may be the look I'm achieving, but it's not the look I'm going for. <laughs> Now, if you have an actual paintbrush, you can also do this with a paintbrush. Um, I find that the paintbrush picks up too much of it when you're trying to move it around. But you can, if you're very careful, do it with a paintbrush. I have not had success doing it with a paintbrush. Not when I'm doing fine detail work anyway. But a little tiny bit more. The great thing about stickles is if you feel that you've put too much down, you can pull it back into the bottle. Which is actually really kind of cool to watch. <laughs> this one here. Alright, now we're going to put this one aside for a second and we're going to take our white or our white light clear color. This one is called Frosted Lace. And we're going to put these drops in here before I end up putting my hand in them. Once I'm done with this, we can finish up the last ones on the bottom here. Add 
some white gel pen stars. Just some speckles. And then they will be all done up. There's our white. I think I got all of them. By the looks of it. And we're going to come back in here to the stars. And I'm going to move that over so you can actually see what I'm doing. Try not to stick my fingers in things. I just stuck my finger in a star the other side. So I may have to fix a star. <laughs> and then we've got this one right here. That is it for the stars, except for the one little one here, which I'm going to do in liquid pearl. Now I'll do this one in liquid pearl, and then all of the, the stickle and liquid pearl stars will be done. And then we're going to just take a little bit of white gel pen and do a couple of star clusters. And then the page will be complete, except for the edges, and I'll do the edges a little bit after this is dried out a bit. Because, unfortunately, if I try to do it now, I'm just going to end up putting my hand in it. Want to do that? All right, so there's that star. And put all the lids back on my stuff here, and we're going to take some white gel pen oh I missed one I missed one right here Over here. Sorry, I had to put the lid back on the stickles.
I'm just going to do some really small ones. And we're going to do another set of clusters up here. This is why you have to be careful and turn your book. I got a, I got a mess. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Let's see if I can fix this. Because I just stuck my arm in it. Now, what I would suggest doing, if you're not able to turn your page because you have it glued down or or taped down for drying purposes is uh, wait until it's all dry before you do your gel penning <laughs> otherwise you're going to end up with stickles all over you even if you try to be careful. Let's see. Do I did I drop it uh put any more? And if you do put your arm in your stickles, make sure that you uh don't wipe it on the book. <laughs> Turn it here. up here, sorry. And then we're going to move over this side. Just putting in some random star clusters. All right, and then this side here. where I'm putting my arm. All right. And there we have her. She is all finished. I'm going to switch you over to the main screen here so you can see her all done up. Uh, move all this stuff out of the way so I can try to get the glitter to sparkle for you.
but there is our little witch and her familiar all finished up. And of course, I will take a picture and post it on Instagram as soon as I get the border done. Um, yeah, so another one finished on this here Finish It Friday. All right, guys, uh, tomorrow is a brand new beginning, a brand new set of pencils, a brand new artist. Of course, um, you know, join me tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock in the a.m. Pacific Standard Time for um, Collection Selection Saturday. All right, guys, with that, thank you all very much for watching. Always remember to like, comment, and subscribe to any YouTube artist that you enjoy. And always, always remember to relax, color, and stay safe, everyone. Until next time, bye-bye for now.